So let's determine the X notation uh, for sulfur trifluoride. Sulfur has uh, six valence electrons. Fluorine has seven. There are 21 total from the fluorines, plus six from the sulfur is 27, plus an additional one, 28 valence electrons to work with. Okay, so I put my sulfur here. It is the least symmetric negative. Fluorine cannot be central atom because it's only going to form one bond uh, like hydrogen if fluorine is so electronegative. Uh, so we start out looking like this, have at least a single bond between the two. And I fulfill the octets for all of the atoms bonded to the central atom. And put any extra uh, electrons as lone pairs around the central atom itself. Let's see if I have any extras. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. It looks like I'm going to have two lone pairs. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So what this means here is I've got an expanded octet again here. That's fine. Sulfur is in period three of the periodic table. And remember, elements, atoms of elements in at least period three, row three of the periodic table can have expanded octets. Okay? So in the last example, uh, iodine was our central atom. Iodine is in period five. So of course it can have an expanded octet because it has access to those d orbitals. Now this is an ion, an anion to be exact, with a minus one charge, so I'm gonna place it in brackets and put the charge there. And if I want, I can check my formal charges. Zero, zero, zero. And formal charge here would be negative one, okay? There is no double bonding that can be done here because no double bond is gonna form between fluorine and sulfur. Why? Well, that would mean that sulfur pulled electrons from fluorine this way, because if I make a double bond here, I have to take a lone pair and bring it here. Fluorine is the most electronegative element on the periodic table. Not very likely to happen, okay? So what is the X notation? Well, A represents the central atom, sulfur, which I only have one of those, uh, and X represents atoms bonded to the central atom. I have one, two, three. So my X notation would be AX3. E represents lone pairs around this central atom, not lone pairs around these atoms. So I have one lone pair, pairs two, two lone pairs. So AX3, E2. Uh, let's count electron domains just to do it. Around the central atom, I have one, two, three, four, five electron domains. Two, three, four, five. Trigonal bipyramidal is the electron domain geometry for that molecule. Okay? 